last wheel of mutt was so bittersweet. So bittersweet. We had one of the coolest introductions to a wheel of mutt season ever. A little mini vlog. We opened an insane Panini Impeccable box. We got Detroit Lions as our team for this season. So I'm so excited about that. But we had a close game where I had, seriously, five, five interceptions. Oh, I'm there! Now, if you watch the game, you'd understand why. Some of it was playing like an idiot. Some of it was Bryce Young. Some of it was Electronic Arts. Now, listen, regardless of where the blame falls, I am ready for an incredible, incredible bounce back episode. Let's lock it in. Let's have an amazing one. And let's talk about the team right now. So we did get to keep a few players. Sam Laporta is our team captain for Detroit Lions season. Justin Jefferson came from the Panini Impeccable Box, which was a 40 bomb from the Super Bowl. I also completed my challenge wheel, which means I had one pack from the store that got me Ezra Cleveland and Quentin Johnston, who both get to stay on the squad. And at the very start of that episode, I did force a super fast rage quit. We're not going to count it as a win, but it did earn me this Drake Greenlaw. So honestly, we could be way worse off than we are right now, but we are missing two corners. We're missing half our D-line. We've got a silver outside linebacker and no free safe. On offense, we're missing more than half of our offensive line, and most importantly, we do not have a single usable player in the backfield. It's looking a little rough, but I do have a very silver lining. I don't think that's how you use that saying, but regardless, I forgot something. And in this case, forgetting something was pretty good. There is one pack in this game that you can only earn by actually winning a head-to-head -head Super Bowl. And that is this pack right here, the trophy pack. I'm not exactly sure what it guarantees, but you usually get really good players in it. I won the Super Bowl on Texan season. I was rewarded with the trophy pack. I'm allowed to open this pack. I just forgot last episode because there were so many things happening. So we'll start this episode episode by opening the trophy pack that we earned. And hopefully I really would like a halfback here or a quarterback. I don't want to have to redo my whole backfield again. You get three players in this pack. They're guaranteed, I think, to be 90 overall or better. I think. And this is a 90 overall or better, but that is really not a position we need. Dershawn Warren, we get a 92 overall D tackle. Not going to pretend like that helps us too much. It's okay. Series Redux is I K. Okay. Sort of, I guess. Tank Dell, 91 overall. Uh, I did pull a Tank Dell. Impeccable. Uh, a little throwback to Texan season, I guess. That, that'll that work. I do need a wide receiver. Our, la our last is a Redux as well. It's a quarterback. Yes. Honestly, fuck Bryce Young. I would way rather have 91 Warren Moon. I'm cool with that. 91 overall Warren Moon is my technical quarterback right now. I honestly think it would be really nice. Dude, because if I use two wheel spins on a quarterback and a halfback, I don't get any other help on this team. I think I have to rock Warren Moon for today's episode. Whatever, dude. As long as it's not Bryce Young, I don't even care. He even gets Hot Route Master. Bryce Young's... Bum ass doesn't even get Hot Route Master. All right, I'm rocking hot. Dude, this is actually a pretty good quarterback. Hot Route Master, Gunslinger, and Gift Wrapped. It's gonna be six AP. 91 Warren Moon. Excited to have you, buddy. Beggars can't be choosers. If wishes were horses, then beggars would ride. If wishes were horses, then OnlyFans models' fathers would love them. If wishes were horses, then Brecky Hall would ride me. I'm, I'm just I'm just full of analogies today. So I, I take it back. I forgot we retained Quentin Johnston. We don't need Tank Dell at all. So that was a wash of a pull. Tershaw Wharton, though, is low-key decent. All right, gentlemen, Warren Moon could be the quarterback today. We'll see what the wheels got in store for us, though. Three wheel spins to determine what we can add to this team. Our first one. Let's go. I got this recently, too. The Wheel of Heights is a fun one. It low-key makes it hard to get a position you want, though, if you get the wrong height. Like, I couldn't exactly have a 5'9 left guard, but this is a perfect height. This can be so good. There are... Ah, Okay, it's a little bit on the sh I don't want to say shorter side. It's 6'2". is pretty damn tall. What players are 6'2 in the NFL? I feel like wide receivers are 6'2". Maybe some guards are 6'2". Maybe. Halfbacks for sure. Some linebackers are 6'2". Some big corners and safeties are 6'2". I almost think we go halfback here, right? How tall is Derrick Henry? I'm, I'm kind of worried that Derrick Henry is 6'3". I said I want a bruiser halfback this season, so... Tallest halfback in the league is Derrick Henry at 6'3". The only good 6'2 halfback I could find is this man right here, Edger and James. I like Edger and James. I don't like him that much. Oh no, shit. Jesse Bates is 6'1", shit. I want a Jesse Bates. I do have a really good option though. All right, right now our only corner is PS2. That is not gonna cut it. We're gonna get fucking fried out there. There is an awesome, awesome, awesome car. Charles Tillman, peanut, six foot two, 210 corner with 97 speed, 99 press, 95 man, 97 zone. His jumping's incredible. I think he's a good return man too. Four 
420,000 coins for Peanut Tailman. This is our best six foot two option for sure. I was kind of thinking about CD Lamb, but we're just too strong in the wide receiver position group. I, I can't be doing CD Lamb right now. Now he is an AKA player, so he gets bottleneck AKA Cruz. It starts on for six plays. You dominantly win press man attempts. It's just not something that I do a lot. So we're gonna switch this to universal coverage, AKA Cruz. Uh, you can improve coverage and catch knockouts and man and zone. This is significantly better. Wow, the fucking ability stack on this dude is ridiculous. Deep out zone KO for one. You could go pick artist or mid zone for zero. I have heard insane things about mid zone KO, but I'm still gonna rock pick artist. Uh, deep out zone KO is amazing. Pick artist, one AP. This was absolutely the right call. So now PS2 has a buddy uh, who's also super tall. We're still raw dogging free safety and corner three, as well as halfback. If I can get a halfback and a free safety, I think we're gonna be all right. All right, gentlemen, second wheel spin. The name of the game is halfback or free safety. If we can get either of those, this will be an excellent wheel spin. <sighs> <laughs> well, obviously I can get either of those, but the only gold 99 ultra legend in the game right now is Tiki Barber, who is obviously a halfback, but I don't want Tiki Barber. This dude was on Twitter.com talking shit to Saquon Barkley. He said, you're dead to me. All right, how about this? How about this? If we get Tiki Barber, every time he fucks up, we have to say, Tiki Barber, you're dead to me. 85 truck, 93 break tackle. Oh, he's good though. God damn, he's good. Are my backfield consists of Warren Moon and Tiki Barber. I don't know how I feel about that, but gold 99 Tiki Barber, it is really hard to pass on that, especially when he's the only gold 99 ultimate legend in the entire game. It's gotta be done. Gold 99 Tiki Barber. Let's see what discount abilities he gets. He is listed as an elusive bat. I'm obviously gonna rock Freight Train. Backfield Master. Okay, we have Hot Route Master, so we don't actually need that. A zero AP Jukebox is a, is a beautiful thing. A zero AP Grab and Go. Oh, uh, what Grab and Go does, if you haven't heard of it, it gives you human joystick after the catch. That's it. Alright, Gold 99 Tiki Barber, as well as Peanut Tillman. I really do think if we can get a free save Safety. We could we could squeak out a win here. It's not gonna be pretty. Last game definitely wasn't. Oh no. Oh no is probably not the right thing to say there. This is a good wheel spin. It's not what we need right now. There is no safeties in the NFL honors promo. I also am not allowed to get the limiteds here. I can get the lower edition, but there is one player who have, I've had my eyes on this entire season and I've never got to use him. In fact, he was almost a prestige. I almost prestiged this man over Nick Bosa and he would not have been a bad prestige at all. And that's Miles Garrett. So we can't get the 97 Miles Garrett. If I ever get a pack a punch, I can use it on this. Get the 97. We can take 96 overall Miles Garrett. 6'4", 92 speed, insanely good stats. It's still an incredible card. We're gonna put him across from Nick Bosa, but that means we will be rocking a silver free safety in this game, which is so unbelievably bad. All right, 96 miles Garrett. I assume you get some nice abilities, right? Maybe the 96 doesn't have any discounts, but we're about to find out. No, he does. No outsiders for free? Let's go. This is a nasty card, actually. Don't need to run any abilities. Oh, that's a great card. That miles Garrett is a great card. Here's my biggest issue with the team right now. I love running the football. I don't have a lead blocker. Derek Parrish's ass. I don't have half an offensive line. So that's, I really want to be able to do something about that. I just can't right now. I have to put in a silver at free safety. I'm going to put in Anthony Johnson Jr. 76 speed, 80 excel, six foot two. All right, gentlemen, with it all said and done, we're rocking an 88 overall team, 88 on offense, 93 on defense. We are significantly better on defense. All right, gentlemen, the biggest issue right now is we're 0-1. We fall to 0-2. We are in a lot of trouble. Remember that three losses resets our wheel of mutt season. It has happened before where I've lost three straight games and it literally, we just reset. The challenge wheel, which I couldn't complete last episode, would have been huge. In the event of a loss, a completed challenge wheel can salvage a wheel spin. Oh, I'm getting shafted. Oh, this is such a sick challenge, but it's gonna be really hard today. We need to average more than five and a half yards per carry with our halfback. So, good news, we picked up gold 99 Tiki Barber. Bad news, we don't have an offensive line. We have Trent Williams and homeless men. Oh, that's his team. PS2, Micah Lamar. Okay, I like it. Jetta Sertan, and there's a new member of the top three, Peanut Tillman. There's a lot of weight on Tiki Barber's shoulders right now. Let's just say that. All right, gentlemen, here we go. Taking on Lamar in the Raiders unis. He's gonna heave one, that is a- Oh my God, Peanut Tillman just about had the craziest debut. That was a horrible ball. He's looking like Bryce Young out there. I know where he's looking. Ah, damn it, nice play. Ooh, come on McFadden. All right, I'm gonna hop on Gronk here for this play. We've got somebody in the flats. Oh! oh, Drake Greenlaw was so close. Oh, he was so close. He wants half back. No, he wants this. Yes, yes! Somebody's gonna get it, Peanut Tillman! 
He will not be denied his interception. Okay, with our challenge wheel. Please don't tell me this is just like last episode. Okay, so we're gonna get a poverty rage quit swim, but we can't count that towards our record. Rage quit wheel here. We can't count the win, but hopefully we can get a really solid player to make up for it. Not what we want right there. There's a lot of stuff on that wheel that's be a lot better than that. That's okay, that's okay. One pack from the store. It's gonna give me the best chance to get a free safety. Honestly, let's not complicate this. AKA Cruz, these packs are really good. They're probably the only packs I even like in Madden right now. Start with Grover Stewart, who truly does not help us at all. That's a bummer. Second is an AKA. It's actually pretty dope. Oh! Jamari Connor. Okay, I'm, I'm really excited about the 93 Henry and I'm really <laughs> excited about Jamari Connor. No way. Pack luck is OP right now. All right, that's huge. Darn blockbuster players, but damn, that's that's quite helpful. So our record is still 0-1, same challenge wheel. I just got uh, a couple freebies to add to this team and we'll go get a real game under our belt. So Hunter Henry, the backup tight end. We've got Sam Laporta, Hunter Henry. And defensively, Anthony Johnson Jr. And take his bum ass back to the bench. We got Jamari Connor with 91 speed, 90 excel, 90 man. 91 zone. That is a perfectly well-rounded card. Takes us up to an 89 overall. Not bad. Marshawn Lattimore, Troy Aikman, and the Ray Lewis. Jefferson, Sertan, Peanut, Tillman. You know you're cooked in a video game when you go up head-to-head -head against somebody whose entire gamer tag is dedicated to the game you're playing. All right, Troy Aikman, what do you got, buddy? We're taking on the Dallas Cowboys. Last time the Lions played the Cowboys, it was uh, not a fun time, to say the least. Lions defensive playbook does not have the sauce. Let's just call it how it is. He's gonna try and pick this up with a run. No, he's not. Really? He's gonna go check down. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, I thought that was Derwin. Shit, what a hit, Peanut. Damn. That's okay, it was a monster hit though. I don't think he runs this ball. So I'm gonna float to the middle here. Oh, 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 Peanut. Damn. I'm gonna hop on Patrick Sertan here. Ooh, finds a tight window. And unfortunately, I couldn't switch on to Derwin there for the hit stick because there was just too many players for me to choose Derwin. Definitely had a chance, though. I'm gonna hop on Ray Lewis. He's um kind of lighting me up right now. Oh, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it! Derwin! Derwin James has got it. How much can we get out of this return? Good. Go left! Derwin James! House call! Wait, do I need anything on the challenge wheel? No, we take it. We take it! Let's go! 95 yard pick six! Dude. And now he's gone. He just took a little lag. <laughs> Dude, at some point, I gotta put like a limiter on the rage quit wheel. How many times are we gonna do this today? All right, we got another rage quit. This one, damn it, we are actually getting shafted. This is plus three to one O-lineman. Shafted's the wrong word. This ain't bad because right now we have 89 Ezra Cleveland in. I can put a plus three on him. I can take any 92 overall left guard in the game. Um, This is not the end of the world. Well, what did we say at the start of the episode? Beggars can't be choosers. Brecky Hall can ride me whenever she wants. Something like that. Ben Powers or Juice Scruggs? I'm actually bringing back a guy we used to have Russ Grimm because he has he has discounted linchpin or something. He has a really good ability. That's why he's expensive. Yeah, he gets linchpin for one. Stronger blocking from all O linemen. This is specifically on run plays, which actually be really good for our challenge wheel right now. So I need to take one AP off of somebody. I'm taking gift wrapped off of Warren Moon. Peaky Barber, Justin Jefferson, PS2, Justin Jefferson, Rondé Barber, Legere Sneed. They're not related, are they? They're identical twin brothers. He's the identical twin brother of Tiki Barber. Dude, how can you be identical twin brothers and play such vastly different positions? I was gonna say, is this a Titans theme team? I don't think it is. He's got William Perry quarterback here, gentlemen. He's also got Brock Bowers, who he might throw to. Questionably. Oh, good defense. Uh, we gotta be cautious of the run here. Just try and pick up the first down. Goes with an RPO and it's bagged. Derwin James, mid zone KO. Says not today, fourth and three. He might try and do the same thing. I don't think he runs this. RPO, RPO, oh no. That's on me. I saw RPO, I ran down to the pass option. He does hand it off. Standard pass play, got a whip route, got a check down. Nice window. Get home, that's what I'm talking about. He's gonna go low, try, dude, Peanut Tillman can hit, holy shit. Deja vu, gentlemen, back to fourth and three. I think I'm gonna go mid blitz. Or no, I'm gonna fake mid blitz, I'm gonna fake mid blitz. Oh my God, he's taking it, he is taking his points. I don't know if I believe this, this is a fake. Okay. Takes his three on the opening drive. That's a win in my books. If we're gonna run with Tiki Barber, it's gotta be open. I really like how this looks on the left side. Beautiful. 
Mmm, nasty juke animation too. So technically, he has the challenge wheel already. That was 12 yards on the opening drive. If I never ran him the ball, we would complete the challenge wheel. I don't really want to do that though. Sam Laporte is so open. Look at Warren Moon. That's not Bryce Young back there, fellas. Third and two, keep this simple throw right into a knockout. It's running tight man coverage. I think I can hit Tiki right over the middle, actually. Maybe not, because he's got my head blanketed. That was so bagged. That drop was a huge, huge bummer. And he's got the ball back. He's got the deep out route. Does he throw it? No, he throws to Derrick Henry. Second three is going to go no huddle here. No. Play action again, but the blitz pays off. Drake Greenlaw, third and 12. He definitely sees something he likes. I'm going to blitz Chamari Connor. Didn't mean to do that. I like it! I really like it! Stay up, Gronk! Ball back! I'm so, I'm so loaded with defensive talent, and I am so lacking on offensive talent. How do I beat this man coverage? So I'm trying to figure out. Oh, I have it. And the fucking right side of my line falls apart. I just had a wide open Sam Laporta. He's only sending three, but he's dominating. I mean, it's really not that shocking. Of course he's dominating them. They're fucking bums. Please, I should have a little bit of time. Yes. There's Tiki Barber. Trying to keep these reads really simple. Look, dude. <laughs> Holy shit, my line is so bad. This is gonna be tough. Gotta get my wide receivers a little more involved for sure. Why did you? Oh my fucking God, why is that still a thing? It's just, it's literally just like last game. Why is this still a thing? Why on God's green earth would I ever? I, I'm giving Jamar Chase a slant and halfway through his route where he's gonna be open, he chops down and does a hitch. Why the fuck are you chopping? You have your man beat, run the fucking slant that I put you on. First 10. He's, he's wide open too if they just if he just runs the slant that I gave him. It's, it's not even a real route. A, what the fuck is he doing? Yes. Okay. <laughs> what? Look, is this a fucking joke? You're gonna give me two bullshit ass games where they insta rage quit, and now I'm in this now I'm in this hell game. I just watched three people all bite on the same I'm just gonna let that play run again with no context, no no commentary. You guys can just take a peek. I'm scared to even put anyone on a slant right now. That's a beautiful route right there out of Sam Laporta. Makes a nice juke, three for six. Warren, Warren Moon, by the way, Warren Moon's playing a great game. Sam Laporta, another beauty. Second and 10, line collapsed on that one. Tiki, holy shit, I can't mitigate it. I don't even wanna watch back what just happened there. That guy got to me so fast that I couldn't throw a fucking angle route. I'm just gonna give Tiki Barber a little bit of space. Fourth and eight, I almost wanna take my field goal. Taking my points here, we get, did we get ball at half? I don't remember what happened on that opening drive. He wants the corner out. Oh, I love it. He wants the corner out. Stay in. Good. Beautiful. Peter Tillman. Massive. I'd like to score before the two minute warning. That'd be the best case scenario here. That's huge. That's so big. Let's go, Peanut. Peanut Tillman's a monster. We can take that away from today's games. Beautiful. It's exactly what I. Ah, it's not the best ball. Did they patch this game since I got to Hawaii? Why does this feel so fucking different? Got him. Maybe. Oh! Hey! Thank you, brother! It's Sam Laporta. It's a 6-3 tight end, boys. Oh. Emotion Goodwin over for a corner out, I think. No, for a slant. It's a good slant. Steps up in the pocket, gets grilled. Ooh, this time he goes down to Dre Greenlaw? <laughs> okay. He's got nothing! He's got no fumble! Oh, he picked up the ball, fourth and 28. He's gotta punt this. He's gonna use all the clock he can here, but we retain, oh my God, he, can he kicks it with 13 on the clock? That's a bad decision. 10 into 10, we are turning this game around one step at a time. We gotta take this. I, Cause I can't risk throwing an interception to Micah. The thing is I literally can't run the ball. Like I literally can't run the ball because I have no abilities to stop double inside stuff. He has double inside stuff and double no outsiders. Really gotta simplify this. Oh God, that's a bad ball. 
Jamar Chase, whip route. Oh my fucking god! If I get another perfect accuracy, uncatchable ball, I'm gonna throw something. Holy shit, he has him torched. He's got 10 open yards up the field to secure the first down. How is it perfect accuracy if he can't fucking catch it? Got him. It's knocked out. I'm actually gonna break something. And he gets the ball back. Holy shit. Just give, just give him the win. Just give him the win. Let me get back to the fucking lobby so that I can start a new wheel of mutt. Honestly. He's gonna pass it to Derrick Henry, I think. Oh, I knew it. You can catch that, that's fine. Derrick Henry contested catch is fine. Jamar Chase wide open, nope. He'll get a field goal here, make it 13 to 10, and then we take back over on offense. It's good to note how effective the Jamar Chase whip route was. Like, it was open. My bad for not making it. Look at the whip. This is fucking hilarious. It's the same thing. It's the exact same thing. It's the same fucking throw twice. Perfect accuracy, gone. Let's see if Jamar Chase will actually run a slant or if he'll decide to, um, Chop this one down. <laughs> Fucking Tiki Barber can dive for a catch, but Jamar Chase can't. All right, Tiki, that was nasty, buddy. I need more of that, or we're going to get cooked. Can it be made? It can be made. I repeat, oh, it's good accuracy. That's why, guys, I have to throw a bad ball to hit a whip route. Laporta. Please, no knockouts, I swear. I do think Laporta can get open on a corner route, though. Nope but Tiki can. Tiki's killing it. Saving my ass right now. Jamar. Beauty. Ooh. Gun bunch, Y flex, dagger, and then just make the substitutions and the adjustments that we need to win this ball game. He's gonna do the same thing with Micah, but I can go right back to Laporta. Trent Williams just got body back there. That's shocking. Laporta, gotta take it. I want this one bad. I still have my challenge wheel too. We have one single run today with our halfback. He got 12 yards on it. If you're wondering why I'm not running the ball, that was a 13 play five minute drive. Beautiful. If you're wondering why I'm not running the ball, it was a miracle that I got the yards that I did. I can't stop his abilities. Two inside stuffs and a no outsiders. It was honestly just lucky that I got it in the first place. I'm not risking a TFL and ruining my yards per carry. If I had a three yard TFL right now, I would have two carries for nine yards, which would be four and a half yards per carry on my halfback. I'd love to run the ball if I had a better O-line, though. He's going five wide. We're in Tampa 2. It's a little scary against five wide. He's got him. Shit. Good play. Please. Guess pass. Oh, he's so lucky. That's a bad ball. I had it. Maybe. I don't know. I feel like I had that. I don't know. Okay. Expected a juke. Let's get somebody in the flats. I hate not blitzing Nick Bosa, but I have to cover Derrick Henry. Okay, RPO, bodied. Great defense against the RPO, second and nine. Oh, let's hold him up right here, boys. Wouldn't that be nice? Wouldn't that be nice? He slides down, what? How do you even do that? Wait, he gave himself up? I, I didn't even know that was possible. Oh no, he's got a whip on him. That's fine, because that's bagged. I'm shocked he even caught that. Fourth and 17 from the 24, he's taking it! He's taking the field goal. Okay, this game is not even close over. I had to fight like a fucking dog to get that last touchdown. Even if I could use a shit ton of clock and take a field goal, that'd be huge. He's really struggling with this combo here. Sam Laporta, Jamar Chase, because he's trying to use her mic. The only guy he's using. Stay in bounds. Beautiful. Okay, don't need to. Just go Sam, stay in bounds. The good news is if he takes Barber, it leaves everything else. Yep, he leaves Barber. Gives me Laporta every time. Barber, first down. Bulk Eric conservative, can't, can't lose on something like that. All right, now we force him. We force him to take Barber with Micah Parsons. Oh, he doesn't. Looks for me. It just, it just sucks that you can't juke there. Not being able to juke there is actually pretty big. Barber. Oh no, it was under pressure, bad ball. I almost want him to score this. Oh, dude. Warren Moon got fucking bodied. That ball went nowhere near where it was supposed to go. I don't know if he gets that anyway, but I pass led that ball across from him. That's huge and obviously really bad. He might run this. I go Derrick Henry. Get there. Minute 38, five point ball game. It's still in my hands. I'm gonna give Tiki Barber a route so he has to respect it. I'm gonna let Sam Laporta get over. Yep, beauty. Get out of bounds. 
Warren Moon is so much better than Bryce Young. <laughs> he's so much better. Still, he's whiffing passes, but he's so much better. Whip route, Sam Laporta. Sam Laporta's carrying the fuck out of me. Let's see if he, if he wisens up to the whip route. Does he go cover that now? Tiki. Rockets. We're, we are fucking <laughs> rifling at him right now. I gotta use more clock though. I gotta get this to no time left. He has no timeouts. Literally, that's just to keep the clock running. Get a yard and the clock ticks. Beautiful. I think what's gonna end this game is a, is a corner route out of Jamar Chase. However we get in the end zone now, it doesn't matter. Tiki. Little sketch, knocked out, that's fine. Second and goal, 10 seconds left. Oh my God, it's just like last game, isn't it? It's just like last game, isn't it? I wonder if Jamar Chase could absolutely burn his man on a whip route and I could end the game like that. I haven't looked at Jamar too often today. Let's look at him now. Not Jamar, I meant Justin Jefferson. They're saying the wrong name. Okay, knockout doesn't change that much. Quentin Johnson, redemption. Third and goal! Six seconds! Snap! Quinn! Johnson! Redemption! I'm going with a run play for two. If I get it, great. If I don't, whatever. I can't fumble. I got ball carrier conservative. We can take this up the middle. Yeah, see, that right there, by the way, is exactly why I can't run the ball. That's exactly why I can't run the ball. One point lead, four seconds. I really need to force him to kick return this. Holy shit, my heart is beating so fast. Quentin Johnston legacy. Yo, can we talk about how he rocked me too, though? Like, like... <laughs> <laughs> Technically, can he get in field goal range in time? Or is this like a true? I think this is basically Hail Mary. Oh, that was actually so sketchy. I had peanut garden two dudes over there. Ball game! That was actually utterly insane. I've never earned it so hard. Let's talk about this game and these stats. Warren Moon is a dog. Bryce Young could literally never. Three touchdowns, two interceptions. One of those interceptions, 100%, was EA bullshit. We had a, ch a chop down starter slant for what? And then the throw where Mike intercepted it, it was a good defensive play. Under pressure throughout the pass, but still a good defensive play. His William Perry could not get cooking. 302 and three touchdowns. Let's go Warren Moon. Um, Barber, one for 12. 12 yards per carry. He ran the ball two times for 11 yards. And then, of course, he somehow took himself down. I did that. Sam fucking Laporta. 13 receptions, 174 yards, two tutties. Justin Jefferson, four for 26. Jamar Chase, three for 24. Jamar Chase would have had so much more if those whip routes weren't so wonky. But uh, defensively, he had six, six TFLs, five sacks with trail sucks. That's how bad I was getting dogged over there. An interception out of Gronk, an interception out of Peanut Tillman. Peanut Tillman's interception is really, really good. Look at this, man. So I hot route Jamar Chase onto a slant. Why would he ever do that? What is compelling him to do that? This was a huge bummer because this one's different. Tiki Barber's got a few steps on Micah and I'm going to lead the ball. I don't think he intercepts this if it's not a bad ball. But Warren Moon, Wobbler, not how that's supposed to look. Okay, so we keep everybody, of course, because we won. Our record moves to one and one. We completed our challenge wheel. 5.5 yards per carry with our halfback. So challenge wheel complete. We get one pack of our choice from the store. I'm going with a sugar rush pack for my challenge challenge wheel pack here. We're gonna pick up free safety Jack Tatum. Brandon Stevens will be coming back to the lineup. And Makai Becton, right tackle. That's big. All right, boys. That was such an insane wheel of mud. Oh, it was an insane wheel of mud, gentlemen. We earned it. And Warren Moon worked his ass off for it. I'm so proud of Warren Moon. And you know what? Tiki Barber was really good, too. Tiki Barber was a huge, huge help for that team. All right, boys. I love you. Amazing episode. And I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. We're one and one. Lions season. Peace out, boys.